Hi, in this video I will be showing you how I painted my Vargeist for Warhammer Age of Sigmar. I first primed the model gray skier, then I added two thin coats of record flesh to the skin areas. You don't have to prime it crazier, but you have to make sure that you prime it a light color like a white or off-white. Once that was tried, I thinned down Druki Violet with Lamian Medium around the 1 to 3 mix and I painted it onto the skin. If you feel that the color is too strong or too weak, you can add less or more medium. I then created a 1 to 1 mix of Rackard Flesh and Flate on Flesh and I painted it onto the skin, avoiding the recesses where the shade settled. Don't be afraid to mix paints, uh, just grab one dollop of each paint and mix them in your palette. Do remember to clean your brushes before you stick it in the other paint and I highly recommend to use a wet palette when mixing paints. After I finished layering over the skin, I used a 1 to 1 mix of Pallid Witch Flesh and Flate 1 Flesh for edge highlighting and some spot highlights on the muscles. To finish up the highlights of the skin, I once again used Flayed One Flesh and created a 1 to 1 mix with Pure White. I applied this to the sharpest edges of the skin, like the brows, the ears, fingers and some of points of the face. I really recommend you go the extra mile because uh, it really brings out like the evil expression of the Vargeist. With the skin finished, I moved to painting the hair. I started by painting two coats of Black Templar over the hair. If you don't have Black Templar, then you can use Abaddon Black or any other pure black that you have. To highlight the hair, I use Downstone. Uh, try to use the side of your brush as much as possible to make the highlighting process easier. To finish up the hair, I used Ulthuan Grey for a second extreme highlight and painted it onto the very ends of the hairs. Thank you. 
Now for the claws and spikes that protrude from the model, I used Wild Blue. Uh, you don't need to paint Crazier again onto these areas, as the pigment of Wild Blue is very strong. I followed this up with a highlight of carrot stone to the claws and spikes. It was at this point that I used Shai's purple thin down with water and painted it onto the deepest recesses of the face and neck and parts of the chest. For the teeth, I base coated them in a pure white. After that dried, I painted Seraph and Sepia straight from the pot onto the teeth. While that was drying, I went ahead and painted the eyes with real yellow. I finished off the teeth with a highlight of Screaming Skull. Now for the wings, I started by adding two coats of Magos Purple on the wing membranes on both sides. Just add one coat and wait for the first one to dry and then add another one. Uh, do watch out for pulling because we're gonna be adding a lot of this color. Then I thinned down Shyish Purple with a contrast medium in a 1 to 2 mix and painted it onto the very ends of the wing membranes. Uh, try to blend the color as much as possible, either by drying out the paint with your brush or using raw contrast medium to ease the transition from the darker purple to the lighter purple. I also painted the model pattern on the membranes with the, this same mix once the edges were dry. The last step for the wings is to create a 1 to 1 mix of Magos Purple and Uthuan Grey and just lightly dry brush it onto the wings. After this the model is pretty much finished, the only thing left to do is to clean up any mistakes and base your model and maybe varnish it. Uh, I went for a dark base since this is such a light model and I wanted there to be contrast. Here's the finished model, uh, I hope you like how it turned out, uh, I certainly do. Um, I guess do leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos, and thank you for watching.